What's up guys, it's Albert in Muffin Group and in today's video I would like to pay special attention to how to use IDs in your projects. Our long-term observations show that you commonly use the same IDs for the sections visible on desktop or mobile for anchor links when building, for example, one-page websites. This is a very bad approach and I would like to show you today how to make it the right way. If for some reason you build separate sections for desktop and mobile and you want to link menu items to right places on page, please don't use the same IDs never ever again. The ID should be unique, so you should use a different one for desktop and different for mobile. Let's say you're building an offer section and on desktop you give it offer ID. Then on mobile you can name it for example offer mobile or give it any other unique ID you like. But it's very important to have different IDs for both devices. If you have already created sections with different IDs, now it's time to assign menus. Menus are native WordPress functionality, what means that you can create them in appearance menu section. Because we have created different sections for desktop and mobile, also the menus must be assigned separately per each device. It's extremely important if you want to link menu items to right sections. Depending on how we build the header, we need to set up the menu. Thus, if you use one of the built-in header styles from theme options for desktop, right menu has to be assigned for main menu in appearance, menus, manage locations tab. But for mobile, menu has to be set in B theme theme options, responsive, header tab and selected from the drop-down list for the custom menu option. However, if we used header builder to build the headers for desktop and mobile, the menus has to be set directly from the template section where all headers are. For example, if you will go to such header in theme plates, all you have to do is click on the menu element and choose the menu from the list of menu to display option in case of mobile. Switch to mobile mode first, click on the menu element and also choose separate menu from the drop-down list of menu to display option. It is worth mentioning that this applies not only to menu items and sections, but also to the buttons if you want to link them to specific places on pages. So, as you can see, it's not as complicated as it looks. With just a few clicks, you can set separate menu for desktop and mobile versions. Hope this is gonna be useful for some of you and your future projects would be even more awesome thanks to this option. So thank you for watching and remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.